Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Thursday, the 19th of uh, March 2020. So we're about halfway there. Historic carnage everywhere sparked by dollar margin call panic, which is why the silver and gold markets are going down because of the inverse relationship between gold and the US dollar. And of course, the pound taking a beating uh, yesterday as well, which we'll look at uh, in just a moment. So let's have a quick look at the Dow. Uh, we can see that we are in free fall. We've lost over 10,000 points uh, so far. We come back to the high, down to the overnight low there, and you will see that we've got uh, minus 10,215 points. There's a long way to go yet when we look at the uh, monthly chart back to the 2008 uh, lows. How far back is it going to come? Well, let's just have a look at uh, history and get a, a pretty good idea. So I'm just going to scroll all the way across here. In 1998, so we had the Asian economies, the tiger economies. Everything was going well until long-term capital went pear-shaped and that to be bailed out by the Fed, first bailout. And then we see the market retrace to uh, where it uh, started in 2003, George W went to war with Iraq with his puppet Blair and uh, he said spend 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 and uh, Freddie Mac and uh, Fannie Mae's were made available we then had the mortgage fraud contagion as uh, all of these uh, went pear-shaped and then where did we end up back where we started in 2008 the crisis is over we start QE we print uh, well, we see the Fed print of 4.3 trillion to send the market up to this level, the biggest bull market in history. Where is it likely to come back to? Well, my money is on this area here. Doesn't seem impossible. We're 50% of the way there. Simple as that. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Um, but given the fact that we've already dropped over 10,000 points, I don't see this as uh, being anything outlandish at all uh, the next area of support for this market we're going to get the dead cat bounces in between but the next major area of uh, support is going to be here and also here 17,477 and you can see here and then uh, ultimately we're down to this level and possibly below it I don't think people have grasped the money printing bubbles and all the rest of it that's gone on for the last uh, 10 years or more I did record a video about this I'll, uh, three years ago, put it onto YouTube uh, about the this when this was going to turn up and uh, eventually had the impact on the market. So I'll put the link in the uh, in the description for you. So there you go. That's uh, what it's looking like uh, for me. Uh, definitely this area here is going to be absolutely crucial because we came down, looked at it twice. Uh, 15,000 it's also the 200 ma 15,254 so keep an eye on that uh, news today uh, Trump speaking well based on his uh, previous uh, speeches don't expect uh, too much apart uh, from uh, buffoonery and uh, the market no doubt will take this on board and move lower uh, the Democrats have got their wish and the markets are collapsing but it's nothing to do with uh, being forced it's um, definitely as far as I am concerned a controlled demolition of the financial system as per the video I mentioned earlier to reset the system and remove the debt that's what you're seeing and that's why you're seeing the the lockdowns and the devastating impact on business and the economy this is no surprise to me I've spent years uh, looking at this and now I'm watching it unfold. Although uh, my heart goes out to those who uh, are at the thick end of this uh, with uh, loss of businesses, jobs, etc. It's uh, appalling, absolutely and utterly appalling to watch. But like I say, no surprise because it's been an illusion for the last uh, 11 years. The banking crisis of 2008 was never cured. It was just postponed. And now we're seeing the effects of this. And um, when you see the likes of Yellen com uh, Yellen's comments over the years, where she said we would never witness another financial crisis, uh, we all laughed when she said this. And those videos are on YouTube. They're in the, uh, the channel if you wanted to go back and see where we actually mentioned this. Uh, I mean, it's a joke. 
the whole the whole Fed and central banks are an absolute and complete utter joke. But anyway, on uh, yesterday's session or during yesterday's session, it was lock limit down. Uh, it went down uh, 500 points and then managed to rally. But eventually, of course, uh, it succumbed to the downside pressure of people getting out of stocks and had to wait for the plunge protection team to come to its aid once more and print a bit more to bring it back to the DP. These are massive swings. These are um, 1,600 point swings in the markets and the spread's 12 points. It's massive and it's incredibly volatile uh, to trade. So uh, yesterday I shifted to the pound and caught the down move on the pound for a two or 300 pips. Uh, so that the market broke the psychological level of 120. So let's have a quick look at uh, this as well. So here we have uh, the daily of the pound. It's uh, broken the 200 MA. And then yesterday as it approached that uh, major psychological level of uh, 120, uh, it was too good to miss. I didn't uh, think about this until uh, after recording the alert yesterday. And I went looking to find a market that had got narrower spreads and the currencies have those. So at the moment I'm working on uh, looking at different strategies, uh, which I will reveal shortly. And uh, yeah, the the pound uh, just sailed through the uh, 120, which uh, you'll see here, and then accelerated to uh, the downside. Let me just remove these. And you'll see there the market uh, going through the 120 was the low of the previous day, and then it just uh, fell out of bed. And this too uh, dropping off sharply. And the reason for this um, which you don't want to hear about, uh, but again, I've spoken about this many times, uh, down 532 pips uh, yesterday, uh, caught over 200 of those uh, as the market started to collapse here, managed to get on the trade. But the reason for the devaluation in the pound is very simple. We've had a fiat currency now since 1971, thanks to Richard Nixon. They removed the gold standard, came off the gold standard, and they have printed printed and printed and printed for the last 40 years, 50 years. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. And you will see the devaluation of currencies globally. The dollar is rising at the moment and the gold and silver price is uh, moving lower as a result of this because of the inverse relationship between the two. Uh, but you'll see the pound go lower. You'll see the euro go lower. You'll see every currency against the US dollar move lower. This is how fiat currencies end in the devaluation of the currency. And that is exactly what we're seeing here at the moment. So this is going to continue with few rallies in between. And eventually everybody will then shift and then sell the dollar as we go forward uh, in this uh, pandemic. So uh, keep an eye out uh, for all of this uh, because uh, it's uh, going to get wild. It, it isn't going to improve at all. It's just going to become more and more wild as we see these currencies going to uh, zero. Okay, let's uh, move on, have a look at a few more bits and pieces. The implied volatility remains at the highs at 81. Uh, we can see this uh, in the shorter term chart there. Just take a look at the uh, the uh, three month, 10 uh, year treasury here, uh, 1.16. Now we're really getting that rapid spike up. We've gone from being inverted to uh, yield spiking now. And again, you can see this, this has been in the alert for uh, over 12 months and the predictive nature of this has been as well. We know recession was coming, it's now just been accelerated and brought forward. Uh, Deutsche Bank update on this. Uh, this uh, was um, down to $5 uh, yesterday. And uh, finally, uh, the gold silver relationship um, we can see here uh, the ratio 125 uh, massive uh, we've got the gulf war here we had the second world war when we were at 9989 there is a major paradigm shift coming and what next is uh, 
the financial system is being reset and the coronavirus is the diversion to take your attention away from what is really going on that uh, you're seeing here. Uh, otherwise, what is it? 125 gold-silver ratio, never seen before. This chart goes back to 1900 and we've had some major events in between and yet uh, nobody's talking about this. And that, for me, is what is uh, going on there. Right, so that will uh, do for this one. Uh, the markets are rallying this morning. Uh, how long for, who knows? But uh, we'll see this continue to unfold as we go further into uh, lockdowns, etc., etc., and the economy come to a complete and grinding halt as far as uh, major uh, corporations are concerned. Okay, that will do it uh, for, as I say, for this one. Uh, if there's anything to report, I will let you know. But otherwise, uh, actually, one thing that's come to uh, just uh, come to uh, my mind, and that's that the uh, limits have changed on the Dow futures. Uh, it was 5%, it's now 13%. Why they've chosen 13%, I don't know. There's obviously a calculation for this. So the Dow now can swing up and down 13%. Get that, 13% in uh, one session before the... Uh, the circuit breakers come on. I mean, 5% was uh, huge, but 13% is massive. I mean, you're not getting those sort of returns on an annual basis, let alone swings on a daily basis. So it gives you a good indication of the levels of volatility there. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.